What's up everybody, it's me James, and I've got another video of this really cool knife. I've already looked at it, but I'm about to show you. Um, got it from traditionalpocketknives.com, ordered it, and I got it really quick, by the way. And I, I've already looked at it, and it's absolutely amazing. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you've seen pictures of this knife already. So uh, if you're not familiar with the Instagram, check it out, Slip Joint Guy. Um, got some other knives here to compare it to as well, but this thing is awesome. I am surprised. Um, I was really skeptical about buying this and hesitant to buy it, skeptical of the build quality. But after watching a lot of um, YouTube videos of this thing, uh, I'm glad I got it. I'm really glad I got it. Rosecraft Blades. Uh, real quick though, if you guys haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. And uh, also check out my knife collector's log and record book. It's down in the description real quick. Just it's a nice log book for collecting knives. I have that and affiliate links down below at the first comment and description. So check that out. But let's get into this. Rosecraft blades. Apparently these things are designed in Tennessee. They're made in China. So no surprise there. Um, I it, it did come wrapped in paper. And it's not wrapped now because I was playing with it. But check this guy out. So at first I thought those was a Barlow. And it's not. It's a Jack. Uh, in fact, the name of it here, the Lusahachi. I'm probably saying it wrong. A million of you will tell me if I am. Kind of like with the Dok Dok situation, which is Duke Duke. But Lusahachi. Can't imagine getting that one wrong. Uh, very southern sounding name, in fact. I saw another review that said that too. Uh, but yeah, designed in Tennessee, made in China, and the quality of this is amazing. And I mean, GEC level. Actually, it dare I say it's slightly better than GEC. Let me explain to you why. First of all, check this out. The scaling, the scale. The scales have scales. They're like a dragon style scale, you know, dragon scales or something. Like it's so nice. By the way, I got the background back. Awesome. So, um, cleaning mask cat hair off of that. So yeah, the shield is a rose. Goes along with the uh, rose rose craft blades. And um, I don't know what the bone is. It's kind of an orangey reddish, you know. And uh, the bolsters are stainless steel. The liners are stainless steel. Spring is stainless steel. Blade is D2. I don't know if it's all D2, but uh, it's all stainless. And D2 is the uh, original stainless, by the way. It is queen stainless. If you want to get, you know, not technical, but if you want to get going back in time, D2 is the original queen stainless. It's queen steel right there. So the centering of this thing check that out if I can get it focused in here the centering is perfect okay perfect the bone to bolster fit is perfect this thing is amazing look at that has a uh it's been a while since I've done these videos as you all know and I forget what they call that now some tooling or something on the uh bolster Check this out. No gaps. No gaps. By the way, this thing was like $57.99 shipped off of the traditional pocket knives website. And it's worth every penny of it. Absolutely. And it makes you wonder like, man, for that price point, you know, why are other brands not as perfect as this? But this thing is... So you can see here, it is flush, flush, like very flush. The, the mainspring closed perfectly flush. So this is what really got me. Half stop, all right. Got a large belly here, clip point, long pull. There's the uh, logo, Rosecraft blade. So on most GEC knives at, half, at the half stop, the spring is either slightly recessed or just slightly proud, which is not a big deal. I'm not complaining. Don't take me as complaining about that. It, but this, once again, I don't know if it's just mine, but this one is perfectly flush again. Like, wow, the quality of this is nuts. 
all right? This is probably the best fit and finish knife I have. So you got a half stop and then you open it up all the way and the walk and talk is amazing. Absolutely amazing. So absolutely awesome. And uh, so you got this really cool tang stamp or it's more like a tang etch, tang etch. And on this side, it says China and that's a sticker that comes off. And you got the etch here, D2 steel, and then the model number, RCT010, it looks like. So I left the China sticker on there just to show you guys that they're not hiding that it's made in China. But after you pull off the Chinese sticker, there's no ugly, you know, there's no ugly tang stamp that kind of like sours it all up. You know, kind of like Rough Riders made in China or whatever. I got to get that off but I'll get that off later. It's just a little bit of adhesive that would come right off. But after you get the label, after you get the little Chinese sticker off, I mean, who knows where it's made, right? This thing is nice. I love the scale, this like scale pattern on this uh, bone handle, it is bones. And at full open, it is also completely flush. Like I said, I don't know if it's just my, my knife that came so perfect, but this thing is, it just surprised me. It's like an orangey red color bone. Absolutely awesome knife. Awesome. And it is, uh, can I say razor sharp? I don't know. I would shave my knuckle hair right here. Let's see. Okay. So yeah, it's razor sharp. Now it's a used knife. <laughs> this thing is sharper than any case or uh, GEC I've ever gotten out of the box. That's for sure. Absolutely wonderful. I like the fact that it's D2. I like D2 steel. I like weird. It's. I'm not going to say it's a weird steel, but it's. It's just less common to see a D2, um, steel knife. I wonder if. So yeah, you can actually stain. Like D2 will stain if you put it like in an apple. It will change colors. You could buff it right out though. So it's. Uh, some people might call it a semi stainless. So it's, but it's very hard. And once it takes an edge, it keeps that edge for a long time. And um, it is a little harder to sharpen, but it does sharpen really well. As you can see, it's razor sharp right out of the box. So there is that fully open. And I remember to bring a measuring tape fully open. We're looking at mm, not six and a half, but six and a little bit more than a quarter. The blade on it, just the actual blade section of it looking at about two and a half inches. It's rough estimates. You can get actual measurements on uh, their website. And then close length, you're looking at about three and a half, a little bit more than three and a half here. Oh, I'm out of camera view. About three and a half, a little bit more than three and a half, maybe three and, uh, yeah, not three and three, well, is it three and three quarters? It's, it's close, it's close. So you get an idea though. very awesome knife so i didn't know how big this was uh i looked at a couple of videos before buying it and i've actually weighed it now once again if you want one of these grab one i don't know how i don't know if they're going to sell out they made a barlow now that i really want it after having this one i really would like to check out the barlow i don't know if it's going to sell out on their website or not i don't know how many are made but um a couple of knives in comparison since i thought it was a barlow i brought some barlows out so here's a case barlow with the white bone very nice you can see it's a little bit bigger like this it's a little bit bigger than the uh there you go it's a little bit larger the width a little bit wider but it's it's larger it's a jack it's not a barlow so um kind of more on the size of the otter messer anchor knife Slightly larger than it as well. About the same width though. About the same width. The uh, anchor knife kind of covers it up. Here is a GEC 14. I'm pretty sure it's a 14 with the knife bright handles. I love this. That's actually the first GEC I ever bought. And this one, by the way, is uh, close to perfect. That's what really sold me on them. But as you can see, when you put it on half stop, you know, it's a little proud. But that's, that's not, I'm not, I'm not, 
dissing GEC. They're different makers because I got some otter masters that has gaps, you know, in the, uh, like this one's not a good example, but they have gaps and they're not always, they don't even have a half stop and, but they, they do a really, they're a really good example of a fairly priced point knife. And that's where this one really shines because it's like 58 bucks shipped. That's an amazing knife for the money. I love it. Here's a queen, a real queen. Um, not the new uh, Smoky Mountain uh, Chinese-made queens, which I haven't got a hold of. I don't know what the quality on them are like, but this is a real queen, uh, double blade here. And I don't know what the pattern is. This might be a 69. Does it say? It doesn't say. Can't remember, it's been a while. But you're looking at just slightly larger just ever so slightly larger than the Queen Barlow. About the same size as, uh, let's see. Yeah. Does it cover it up? It's really close. Really, really close to a Queen Barlow in size. Just a little bit bigger. And then you have a, a Victor Knox Cadet, which is what I carry almost always. And uh, I know it's a completely different knife, but... You can just see, it's just slightly larger, slightly larger. This would be a bit too big to put into the coin pocket. So there's that. But other than that, um, this would be a great pocket knife. I mean, this thing comes razor sharp right out of the box. Razor sharp. Stainless steel bolsters, liners. I don't know if it's D2 or not. I don't know if they use like a 420 for the bolsters or something, I'm not sure, but it is absolutely awesome. The pins are not recessed like a lot of the pins are on a GEC, but they are smooth and they don't snag. I like that. The uh, transition between bone and liner and bolster is awesome. Absolutely awesome. The blade centering is amazing. Perfectly centered. I'm looking at it, not on the camera, but if I, let's see, right there. Perfectly center. It's a really good knife. Really good knife absolutely love it it's clean too and the packaging is really nice too you come has a little holder here rosecraftblades.com check them out it has a pull tab on it so you can kind of you know you can pull the tab to open it. it's just nice it's always nice to have really cool packaging so guys that's it that is the uh rosecraft lusahatchee jack rct010 there it is beautiful knife hope you guys liked the video i got more coming um i had to get one of these i cannot wait for the barlow to get back in stock i am going to get one because this is a great knife i was very much on the fence because it's made in china and you know you got rough riders that are really cheap and um you know like they're just not that great they're about they, they are good and i haven't had the reserve yet maybe i should check one of them out but this one has some weight to it. It feels good in the hand. It's got a very strong pull. Eh, on his website says it's about a seven, and I would say that's about right. It's a little heavier than, um, you know, it's it's heavy, but it's good. You know it's locked. It's got the half stop. So, awesome. And it's got a little belly in the blade here just it's a great knife i am really pleased with it the quality is awesome and i'm really glad i bought it and i'm kind of happy that this exists this is such a nice knife for the price so anyway if you want one check them out uh traditionalpocketknives.com not sponsored by them uh just i've been buying knives from austin since uh he was selling uh queens so um been doing business with him for years nice guy veteran owned as this little postcard thing comes gives you a bunch of stickers i haven't seen this one yet this one's new to me but i've been buying knives for a while so this is the first knife purchase i've made in a while i guess and um it's a good one it's a great great knife to get back into the hobby of this knife collecting and it's not expensive it doesn't break the bank once again if you like what you watch subscribe Ring the bell for notifications and uh, leave a comment if you want. Like the video. And if you want to support the channel, check out the Knife Collector's Log and Record book made by me. You can get it at Amazon. 
Uh, if you got Prime, free shipping. That's how I would get it. And uh, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.